Today we're dressed up and we're going to talk about the premiumness of location advertising data. Did you know that 70% of location advertising data does not get used because it gets filtered out because it's not good data? So here's a primer on location targeting. How is location targeting data captured? It's captured when you use your mobile device. When you have your location targeting on and you use Yelp, Google Apps, Google Maps, Weather Channel, something that requires your location to define where you are and give you some point of information. So if you're looking for restaurants that are nearby you on Yelp, you're looking at location data. When these apps or other apps like it are used and stay on in the background, they are capturing where you go in the physical world. So where I drive, where I stay for a long time, uh, the restaurants I go to, and this data helps us advertisers understand where people go in the physical world, but not all data is good and here's how it's validated. First, we look at latitude and longitude. How long is that latitude and longitude coordinate? If it's more than five decimals, then that means it's down to four feet or smaller, a smaller space. So fewer decimals means it's a larger range. More decimals means it's a much more granular target. So we know where users are down to the feet. So that's very powerful. We filter out data that isn't good. So for example, if the latitude and longitude says that I'm in the middle of the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, then that's not good. I am not at the, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and no one is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean uh, consuming uh, Google Maps, for example, right? So that data gets filtered out. Likewise, if the latitude and longitude appears to be in a place where, uh, where no human is, like in the middle of the atmosphere or above the planet, we know you're not consuming latitude and longitude data, you're not on an app, so that data gets filtered out. Likewise, sometimes apps are a little bit lazy and they don't show accurate latitude and longitude information. And this could be for a lot of reasons and the end up is, uh, the end result is that you get latitude, longitude that show maybe the center of the United States. Middle of, middle of the forest, you're not having hundreds or thousands of people in the middle of the forest all consuming Pokemon Go, let's say. So that data, and that data is not being used and it gets filtered out. Likewise, this center point information, whether it's for a zip code, a city, or a state, is not accurate. So if a latitude launcher identifies me as being in the geographic center of Los Angeles, that's not valuable right? So that data gets filtered out. Sometimes the data gets reversed. And so the latitude and longi longitude may appear that I'm in the middle of the, of the ocean. But if you reverse the coordinates, then it shows that I'm in the middle of Los Angeles or I'm in a part of Los Angeles where it makes sense that a consumer is uh, on a mobile device. So this is the way that our data partners filtered the data and ensure that when we serve ads based on premium location data, that that data is valuable. It's premium, it's black tie, it's suit and tux, cream of the crop, it's the best data that we have. And then how is this data used? We talked about this once before, but location data is really being used in three different ways. Number one, serve ads to where people are right now. If I'm at a Starbucks, serve ads to me because I'm at a Starbucks. Now you can also serve ads to where people were. This is what I call place-based remarketing. And so if I've seen you at a Starbucks in the last 30 days, let me serve you an ad because I know you've been to Starbucks. And being to Starbucks is significant to, to my advertising targeting. And then finally, there's what's called behavioral location targeting. So if, I, if I'm a consumer who goes to yoga and I eat healthy food a lot because you see me at healthy food restaurants a lot, well, and maybe you have a determination that my income is over $100,000, well, that may mean that I'm in your target audience of health, high income healthy food consumers. And so you can target me based on the places I go in the physical world. So this is how location data is used. It's captured when it's on your mobile device, it's filtered out for data that doesn't make any sense based on human behavior, and then it's used to target people based on where they go in the physical world.